Hey guys, Fox Racing, welcome back to my channel. Look guys, I don't usually do this, you know, when I shoot videos uh, while I'm driving, it's definitely not safe. But let me tell you something, um, I just wanna shoot this video honestly, um, as I actually on my way to, uh, to do something, um, uh, you know, to fix my car, to get it, uh, you know, cause it, like I said on my videos before that I do work on my car every once in a while. You know when it comes to something really easy to to tackle but um but if it's something has to do with uh, me having to uh, use the lift to lift my car to change certain things then you know i usually do it at my friend's garage but um uh, like today you know um i was i was just thinking because i know at one point there's another topic that i want to talk about you know where people already talk about it like something that you know i just don't like to talk about things that it's uh, that it's already in the news you know uh like for instance uh, you know uh uber and lyft you know they came up with this uh uh they want to uh, change their fleet to ev vehicles by year 2030 i think 2030 yeah. you know I, I i wish i could stay alive by by the year 2030 you know I, hopefully i must still be alive by then um but but honestly uh turning this fleet to um uh, electric vehicle it's not up to uber to do that it's up to the drivers you know as a driver it's up to me whether i wanted to actually buy an ev electric vehicle or keep driving my regular uh um gas vehicle you know um but but the, they say fleet fleet they don't know Open Lift has no fleet so far, you know what I'm saying? We we people, that individual that drive for Uber Lift on our cars, right? And it's up to us if we wanted to actually upgrade. Um, but, um, but buying an EV vehicle, it's not a solution, my friend, you know what I'm saying? Um, the only thing, first of all, I wanted to say, um, if, if you end up buying an EV vehicle, especially from uh, Tesla or GM, because Uber, they, they wanted to, uh, they, they pretty much partnered up with, with GM to, uh, you know, partnered up with GM to, uh, to help the drivers with the, to finance this uh, EV vehicles. But, um, but first of all, you know, if you end up buying an EV vehicle, you know what happened? You're gonna have a huge problem because the fact that these cars are electrical vehicle, the electric vehicles, and and they're all electronics. Basically, if anything happened to your car, you know, while you're driving it for ride share, um, there's no way for you. You don't have no other alternative, but to 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 take your car to that particular dealer that provide service for those particular electric uh, vehicles right so let's see if something happened to you to your tesla do you think that you're gonna just drive your vehicle to a regular mechanic and have something fixed there no there's no way because most of the guys are not trained to actually fix those cars you know it's simple you know i'm glad that i have my gas vehicle that I could actually pinpoint the problem sometime and get it fixed you know, um, when it comes to engine control modules, especially on one of these electrical vehicles right now, you don't have no other alternative but to take the car. It's gonna cost you arm and a leg, unless if you bought the vehicle and you purchased some warranty with the vehicle, we're probably more likely you have an extended warranty. And and plus, there's another second thing that I think that it's not a good idea to buy a vehicle for ride share. Um, you know, for the fact that when you buy, um, like now that, let's see if you buy a vehicle from Tesla. You know, you know that Tesla, they, they charge for the charging station. You know, if your car runs out of juice and you decided to pull up to one of these Tesla charging uh, station, they charge you for that. You know, unless, even, even like I've heard Tesla, they ended this referral program where they were offering supercharge for some of these uh, customers uh, but now they ended that referral program where basically you would have to pay in order for you to actually get your vehicle um, charged somewhere in this uh, charging station and the only charging station that I see so far for Tesla they happen they happen to be along the highways along the throughways 
uh, some particular spaces where, where uh, more likely you would have to go. Like for instance, if I drive in New York City and I want to buy a dark car, you know, I would get stuck sometimes not being able to actually charge my vehicle. You know, Tesla cars, they only run, they run on 250 miles on full charge. That means if you get stuck some way, you're not gonna be able to charge your vehicle, then you're screwed. You know, uh, electrical vehicle at this point, um, I don't I don't have nothing against an elect electric electric vehicle. But buying an electric vehicle, you you want to buy for your personal use. And plus, if you're gonna be buying it, make sure that you're gonna buy it, and you have a place where you could charge it. Like for instance, you will need to live in in a house where you have to kind of have that setup. You know, for your charge uh, for your, uh, for your uh, well, uh, you know, Tesla they usually sell the kit for, for for you to actually be able to charge your vehicle at home. Um, but honestly, um, at this point, you know, I'm an environmental uh, environmental friendly person. You know, I like to see um, our our uh, our environmental uh, our environment clean. And honestly, with this uh, global warming, quote unquote global warming, because we humans are the we contribute to this global warming you know see it's it's a conscious you know it's a subconscious you know we need to in, individually to actually make sure that we we are aware of the way we dispose things uh, on our planet um but honestly like i said you know you guys if you're gonna be buying an electrical vehicle for ride share you know you're mistaken you know, honestly, that's why I was just wanted to share, share this video because the fact, you know, honestly, because I'm on my way, like I said in my beginning of the video, I don't know if I mentioned that, um, that I'm going um, to my garage at this point, you know, I could show you guys the traffic here. Let me see if I could actually switch here. Oh, hold on. Yeah, I'm an, I, I just wanted to show you the traffic here. It's really crazy. Look. As you can see right here, this vehicle in front of me, guys, um, it's a TLC plate. You see, I mentioned so many times that our plate is different, and my plates look pretty much the same. It starts with the T and it ends with the C. See, this guy's plate number is 769-990. So basically, all our plates are the same, you know, So uh, and it says TLC on it. Uh, so there's a traffic on my way to my garage at this point because I live in the city you know guys and um and at this point i'm just hitting uh, i'm going to my garage this is the, not the good time to actually uh be going towards my garage because most people are living in the city you know because most people that work in new york they live in a tri-state of uh of the they live in a tri you know they live uh in the suburbs so you know most of the, these people are actually going towards the northern part of uh the city of westchester and um and the bronx basically yeah um, so guys, um, you know, I, like I said, I wanted to shoot this video to, to tell you exactly that, that it's, it's not a good idea to actually buy an EV uh, vehicle for, to, to use for ride share because that's not something that you want to do at this point. You know, we had, we, we had of our time, you know, um, you know, Uber and Lyft, they're doing this thing to please the, you know, the, the politician to just show that they care, you know, by having drivers you know buying a vehicle for EV you know I mean it could it could be to a point maybe 10 years from now where at one point where Uber would not allow people to actually use the gas vehicles in, in the rideshare business but I'll wait until that day you know if I get to live this long to be able to drive you know until whenever then then whenever the Uber they're gonna Uber Lyft or any rideshare business that are going to be forcing people to actually buy this these vehicles then I'm more likely to consider buying one um, guys you know buying a vehicle an EV vehicle you're looking for trouble you know uh, you, you if, if something happened to your car psh, you have no other choice you cannot take it to a regular mechanic you have no other alternative and you guys I want to tell you you know this charging station you know Tesla charges for these charging station like um, uh, like I just did little numbers you know you know that uh, the gas, uh, the gallon of gas, the average of gallon of gas now it's almost like two hundred and uh, by two dollars and twenty five cents nationwide, and I've seen it almost it's like a dollar and ninety cents in Jersey. So, 
so if you if you take into your if you if you run out of uh, electricity and you end up going to charge your car in one of the uh, uh, charging station, whether it will be GM station, Tesla station, whatever, um, I I know for a fact that Tesla charges for these charging station. You have to pay for it in order for you to get your um in order for you to get your car ch uh, uh, fully charged in order for you to to keep going. You guys have did little numbers, you know, to see how much can you save, like versus having an electric vehicle versus a, a, a vehicle that runs on gas. You know, uh, the average gallon of gas here in the United States is about two dollars and twenty-five cents, which is really cheap because I've seen gas even cheaper here in New Jersey. Although we live in New York, sometimes when I go to Jersey, I usually fill up there because the average of gallon of regular gas in Jersey is about dollar and ninety cents, which is really cheap, you know. Um, in some of the gas stations that I've seen so far. Um, so let's see if you have a, an, a Tesla vehicle. You know what I'm saying? Because Tesla charges. Uh, to, for you to actually be able to go and fully charge your vehicle at, at one of the Tesla uh, uh, charging station. Um, they do charge, you know, there's no way for you to actually get away with it because honestly, and I'm, and I'm, and I'm trying to figure out how um, how much can you save and you're not saving that much, honestly. Because um, first of all, um, um, let's see, um, you know, uh, a, I think a gallon of gas it's worth almost like 8.33 kilowatt and and if you have 8.33 kilowatt in your electric electric vehicle you could actually travel by uh, that that 8.3 kilowatt hour will run you for about 22 uh, miles per ga per gallon because the fact that if my like for instance if, if my car is a Camry and it runs on 22 um, miles uh, per gallon um, average 22 mpg so so if you have 8.33 kilowatt um, hour in your electric vehicle you could travel uh, about a, about a 22 miles on that 8.33 kilowatt hour so so let's see if you put 100 kilowatt hour uh, in your vehicle if you charge it if you charge 100 kilowatt hour uh, into your electric, electric vehicle that 100 kilowatt uh, hour it's worth by um, uh, 28 dollars at, at the at Tesla charging station and and if uh, and versus gas uh, that 100 kilowatt hour it's worth um, 27 dollars with the gas so you tell me uh, Tesla is charging 28 dollars you know to charge your vehicle up to 100 and kilowatt hour which is worth tw 27 uh gallon with the gas so 20 uh yeah what what yeah a, a 100 kilowatt hour it's worth 12 gallons of gas right 12 gallons of gas uh based on the uh average uh 225 per gallon here in the United States, it's worth $27. And uh, Tesla is charging you know, uh, um, $28 for 100 kilowatt hour, uh, as far as like, uh, you know, the amount of charging that if you decided to charge 100 kilowatt uh, in your electric vehicle. So basically, you, you're losing, you know, um, you actually Tesla is charging an extra dollar uh, with the uh, twenty, with with twelve dollars of gallon, if you have a, 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 a gas vehicle, so you're not saving that much. You know, I don't know if you guys, uh, you know, got my point here when I try to break down the numbers. Um, you know, a gallon of gas is two twenty five. Uh, one, uh, a, a two twenty five, uh, two dollars and twenty five cents um, a gallon of gas. It's worth uh, t uh, 0 0.28 cents kilowatt hour. You get my point. So, so 100 kilowatt hour is about 12 gallon of gas, and 12 gallon of gas is 27 dollars. And if you go charge your your electric car, a car at a Tesla charging station, and you charge up to 100 kilowatt, uh, Tesla charges you, charges you 28 dollars for that for that. Uh, for that little uh, for, for up to 100 and kilowatt hour so so you basically uh, losing a dollar right there you know the only people that actually basically before like uh, 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 Tesla was giving out this referral 
program. So, but they ended this reform program where people were actually charging the 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 cars at free in some of the gas stations, at some of these uh, Tesla st station uh, charging station. Uh, but now they ended that. So, so the only thing is, um, you know, it, this these electrical cars, these electric cars. Or basically, if you want to own one, I would more likely to own it as individual, personal user for personal use. You know, you cannot use these cars for, for ride share because you basically losing. And 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 obviously, you know, if you're gonna be charging your car at one uh, at home, which basically Tesla does actually provide this kit to uh, to to people that are buying Teslas, where you could charge your car at, at home. Uh, but at home, you you depleting basically uh, gas from from your gas bill. You know, so so you're paying for, to charge your, your your car anyway in the first place. And definitely, you want to live in in a house where you can have garage where you could be able to charge your car. The super the super charging station are only uh, outside, basically. The only places that you could charge your car is along the highway. I've seen it in some of the throughways, you know, expressways, you know, where they have gas station where they more likely have te Tesla, you know, uh, charging station. So. So you guys, uh, you know, uh, I don't think it's worth having uh, an EV vehicle at this point. You know, you might want to wait until a point where uh, I don't know how far Uber they're going to go. You know, if they're going to stay in business because they're having uh, huge problems at this point. The only thing is, is they're doing this to please the politician to see that, you know, to, sh to show that they care. Um, yeah, guys, um, I know I'm, I'm on my way to my garage. You know, I just, uh, you know, I'm halfway there. Um, so um, I just want to go get my rotors and, and brake pads done, which is going to be, um, you know, quick fix for me. It's not a big deal. You know, I do measure some of the most of work on my car. You know, just like I said in my video, that there's certain things that I cannot do to my car unless if I have a lift. Not lift, screw lift, you know, the ride share business. The lift that you can lift your car and work on your car. So I don't have that. Um... Guys, um, I just want to shoot this video to give you a little uh, pointers, you know, um, you know, it's not, uh, don't rush to buy an EV vehicle at this point because um, it's not worth it, you know. So, um, guys, I hope you have a nice evening and I will uh, be talking to you soon whenever I get a chance. Okay, bye guys, bye.